Guys, and today we are going to be rolling with a deck which I'm not even going to show you the build for because it's that terrible. But this is a uh, this is my team uh, Valor and Akros deck. Generally, the the whole deck's kind of built around Valor Valor and Akros and uh, Flame Shadow Conjuring, and trying to just kill kill our opponent in one or two turns after them to have hit the field. But uh, yeah, in the end, there's a lot of cards which would be really nice in this build. I can't remember the name of, but it's that four mana. 3-3 three, three, that buffs your team for one turn but in the end of the day I just ended up cutting out everything that was I can't I wouldn't have kept this hand but apparently I didn't have enough time for some reason because this guy left and all I could kept my hand I think because that was nowhere near the time limit screw this you know what, I'm not, not going to play this I've got, I've got no need to play all this I'll carry on explaining I don't want to play against the AI today especially when it made me keep that hand uh, <laughs> I even lose rank. I even lose a rank for that. How, what's the justice in this world? But yeah. So a lot of the, in the end of the day, I ended up cutting out pretty much. Yeah, well, yeah, every single double white card, just because it was just way too. I mean, this deck is already really greedy on the mana, and uh, it was only getting it was only getting worse with uh, stuff like Kithian's tactics and that buff guy. So in the end of the day, pretty much I think we're in for. Our two drops are white, such as the Dauntless River Marshal. Marshal. I should have just, I should have just went into the video. But uh, the Topian Free Blade and River Marshal pretty much are two drops. And then uh, we splash into white with Thundercut Wyvern, and then for Valor and Akros. So I keep this hand, and everything comes in untapped. So I guess I can keep. I have all my colors. I've got double blue, I've got double red, and I've got single white. So this is actually, it's all right, I guess. The Thundercut Wyvern is not really doing much, but when we start getting some more Thopters, hopefully it'll, it'll turn up. To play the Forest this turn. I could play the Clifftop Retreat. Yeah, I can't play the Clifftop Retreat because it would have came in tapped, so. <laughs> the Clifftop Retreat will come into tapped unless I top deck a basic next turn, so. Probably is what I'm going to be playing. It didn't get Fiery Impulse. But, uh, yeah, so I mean, this deck, it's. it's it's been weird when I've been playtesting with it. I haven't played too many games with it, hence why I didn't feel like justifying my choices too much is definitely some work that could be done. But I have, I've had some pretty satisfying turns. <laughs> uh, flame shattering a Whirl of Rogue with a Valor and Akros on the table is pretty much overrun. Well, this this game's version. I was an Evolving Wild, so that can get us. We're going to attack here because he, has, he can't have any tricks and we get Renown next turn. So, uh, there's, there's no reason not to. I don't mind losing a Topian Free Blood. Especially as these probably red deck wins, so. We get a Renown Trigger off. Yeah, we're just going to evolve in Wilds for a Mountain next turn. I'm just trying to figure out whether I should block this thing next turn. Hopefully, this guy just does everything first main, so I don't have to worry. But uh, it does have to attack each turn. That's the thing with that with that card. It's really uh, you can't really try and predict them because they will be crunching in every turn. And instead, he shows me an infectious bloodlust, which we unfortunately we don't have any responses. For. That is five power. But I think I'll. I mean, I could. There's no point double blocking. So I think to be honest, I'm just going to. Get these both renowned and I'll decide next turn. <laughs> One big hit though. We can get a red source here. I mean, we have the the Thundercat Wyvern, which we can play at end step if we need to. Thopter Engineer is probably going to be the player now though. Or is it? Uh, Thopter Engineer gets us to hit him for six this turn, and we can get. A blocker and the, the actual haste guy, I guess. Or we could just. I think I'm just going to. Uh, I think I'm going to do Thundercard Wyvern this turn. And then next turn, the artifact will have haste, so it'll be pretty much dead. I might, I might end up jumping with one of these Topian Free Blades, but because I mean the. The haste on the top will give it two damage in the air next turn. Plus, obviously, the Thundercut Wyvern itself. So, I mean, that's six, eight, ten next turn. 
if he doesn't have anything. But do I want to go down to 11? He could have a couple of Titan strengths, which I really don't want. So I mean, I'll I don't want to double block. I'll just single block. Ravaging Blaze. So he does actually get to kill both our creatures here. Actually, no, he only gets to kill one because he doesn't have the mana. It's weird that he, well it doesn't really matter what he targets I guess. But he does get to keep his creature alive, I'm fine with that. We can definitely, I think we definitely do win this race as long as he doesn't get a bunch of pump in one turn. There's a Dauntless River Marshal. So we can tap on his creature, we, not next turn unfortunately, but the turn after. And I think we can actually play both of these this turn. So. We are definitely in a good situation. We'll probably just jump with a Thopter Engineer and then we'll be pretty golden if he's not dead next turn. He's taken 7 and then we can tap down his creature next turn so any block as he plays. Just really paranoid about him going like Titan Strength, Titan Strength, <laughs> Exquisite Firecraft or something like that. I mean I don't I don't need the hasted engineer, I'm fine with the jump here. Just to avoid any of shenanigans. I'm probably just playing too cautiously. I just don't wanna Because I'm I'm definitely in a good situation. I've got two flyers, I've got tap and ability. There's an ember hauler. Do can we force enough damage this turn? Hmm. Flame Shadow unfortunately not gonna do it this turn, uh so if we tapped, we can only tap down one creature, we tap down probably the Perilous Mer, we'd get through 2-4, yeah we got him dead. Didn't even need the Flame Shadow Valor and Akros this deck, this uh, game. If I can do my maths right, yeah that's right, there's 4 in the air and then there's 2 across the ground. That guy had a weird name, I, I didn't see much but it was, it was pretty long. <laughs> I'm just, I probably played too cautiously. I probably could have killed him a turn or two early. I wasn't happy with how that went, but uh, <laughs> a win's a win. I'll take it. Back up to where we belong, the promised lands. Get a win, and we're just going to jump to game two right now. And uh, yeah, I mean this deck, it's 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 been weird. I, I'm not happy with it, but it, it does seem to uh, win <laughs> when it. I mean, a lot of the times I lose it's just because I don't really get any any of the actual action going on, so I'll either have a hand which is just stocked full of like Valor and Acroses and Flame Shadows and I don't know, like Dragon Fodder. Just stuff that's really powerful in combo with other stuff but just by itself doesn't really do much or have games like that where I have all the little guys who are who'd love to be pumped and stuff but uh there's nothing to really gel with it, so you know. But when it does work, when you, when you do pull off the World of Rogue, Valor and Acros, <laughs> Flame Shadow Conjuring, or something like that, it's it's a sight to behold, especially with like a Thopter Engineer on the field. Uh, five Lander, we go Dragon Fodder. We don't even have, we would, we could get double blue. In fact, we would get double blue. We're on the play. I guess we keep it. So we got World of Rogue. I mean, all our lands come in tapped, which is annoying. We actually kept a five land, actually. I don't know. I initially looked at that and thought it would be alright because we're on the play, but uh, luckily this guy isn't red deck wins. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, if we evolve in wilds, we get a lot of our lands start coming in untapped. We'd get a blue. Yeah, we'd get a blue. So, I'm actually fine with that, just in case we draw into like a Thopter Engineer next turn. We can get these tap. We've got so much land in hand that we can get our. Uh, we can probably's got enough to play our threats on time either way, without screwing ourselves over. Is it console lieutenant, which is actually terrible for us because it's got first strike. Yeah. 
don't know, hopefully we draw into some juice. What did we do? Uh, I think we drew a land that turn, which is always great. When you keep a five lander. Hey, we actually did draw the Thopter Engineer, that's quite fun. Yeah. So we could play either Glacial Forest or Sulphur Falls. I'm going to play Sulphur Falls. So. I mean, you could most likely my expect my Engineer to get tapped down next turn. But I will block. There's what is there? There's, there's not really much buff in white. There's a. Uh, Kithian's tactics, obviously, but that's sorcery. I can't really think of too much, to be honest. <laughs> I'm probably missing some obvious ones, and blue obviously just got a bunch of tap spells. But we do get a Whirlroad combo off next turn. Well, not really a combo, but just standard theft as we really. <laughs> Turn 3 engineer into turn 4. Well, he's going to make it fly. Luckily, it's not got vigilance, otherwise, this game would be pretty much over. I do think we can race. And by that I mean I'm going to end up forcing him to sit back and then have to will rogue some unblockable guys through probably. But uh, we're hitting him for 2, four, 4 next turn, plus we get 2-2 two, two body. There's an Iros as champion, I can cast that next turn with the dragon fodder. Uh. So I mean we've got a decent board up, you could have tragic arrogance in which case we probably just lose on the spot, but we're not in a great situation. Hmm. I would love a one of my Flame Shadow slash. I mean, there's five in the deck. I did originally have uh, Thop to Spy Network, which I don't run just because uh, double double blue was just asking. <laughs> Another double blue spell was just trying to crush this deck. I mean, it's hard enough getting Whirler Rogue out in time. I kept a seven lander and a still wouldn't be able to play him on turn 4 if I hadn't, if because of the gate in hand he gets the buff, he's still coming in though I'm surprised at that because we're doing a hell of a lot more damage which means he's going to have some blockers I'm guessing what could he have? what would be the worst thing to see? let's try and jinx it second one's, that's pretty bad uh. well look at that, they was <laughs> there was some some of the worst stuff we could have seen uh. No land, not good. Uh, we just keep crunching in the air, I think. Bang, bang, bang. And then, uh, I don't know, I think... At this point, we are not in a good, very good situation, uh, to say the least. I've done that wrong as well. I should have played my land out first. Actually, I don't, know, I don't know double red, so I lie. There was nothing I could have done there. But uh, I guess it doesn't bother me, bother me too much. Yeah, uh, you don't. You can only play with what you dealt. This guy, if you, I'm really worried if you put some Nimbus wings on that Tobian free blood, I think it might be game. <laughs> uh, because then he's just got so much, the Vigilance is going to kill us just because we can't do damage and he can just keep crunching each turn. Like right now he's got a choice, he can either stay in defense or attack, but <laughs> if he auras up the Vigilance guy he can do both. Uh, this isn't, this isn't looking promising, I'll be the first to admit. <laughs> what, what, what would help us out here, Knightly Valor is pretty, yeah it's pretty terrible as well. Uh, yeah, I think this game's kind of out of reach right now. We don't have too many really strong late game finishes. Pretty much we need to go Valor and Akros into like Dragon Fodder or something like that, or another World Rogue. Shanda's parents. Okay, yeah, uh, what can we do here? We could trade off our Iros' champion. Actually, he's been. Oh well, no, he's got two Vigilance guys. <laughs> he's not being too cautious. I guess we just make this trade here. And then take five. Not got too many options. For a minute there, I thought that thing's ability was gonna like <laughs> mean I couldn't kill his dopey free blood, but okay. What can we hail Mary into? Second Thopter Engineer. I mean we have to we have to keep crunching in the air. Well we're dead next turn actually in the air. So we have to leave one blocker back. Uh, one, two, 
two, three. One flying blocker, and then I mean, if he's if he's got another like a another flying spell or whatever, we lose. But he's down to nine. If we could go, uh, well, obviously we we don't have enough. We don't have any ammo left at this point. Yeah, this game's over. Very windy outside. I apologize if <laughs> it's picking up. Actually, it's thundering. Who oh, God? I don't think I don't think I can carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to end the video right now. We'll be fine. If a power drops though, I guess you'll be, you'll be the first to find out. Hey, there's a grass which loses us the game. Fair enough. That game was... We needed to go like a, a pretty nuts turn right there. Do you know what would have been really helpful there? One of the... One of the uh, Ampere Tacticians or Kithian's Tactics, but... I don't know. Just the double white is such a strain. I mean, we flooded out a little bit in this game. Seven in the top. Like 12 or whatever this is. So, what did he tap down? Oh, well, he tapped on a fly. He did rise. Right? No point trying to block you. Yeah. So I mean, like, it's just it's really actually a strain on the man. The man has been performing a lot better these two games than uh, the previous ones. But I, I don't know. There definitely is room. But I just think with the double red, you need because in this sort of deck, you're going to be playing Valor and Acros, so you need white. Obviously, it's a Valor and Acros deck. So you haven't even given it a name yet. But it, you, so if you're playing that, you're gonna be playing blue because you get all the the thopter generators like Whirl of Rogue and, uh, you know, just like all that stuff disperses, all that good stuff. And then uh, red, obviously, you're gonna be playing for like all the all the thopters. So I mean, you're gonna be playing them three colors. It just and like I said, you're playing for the thopters, and a lot of the good thopter spells are double colored. So I don't know, white just felt the weakest to me, even though <laughs> Valor and Akros is white. And uh, that thunder is getting pretty loud. <laughs> Don't get it often over here, so I'm a bit worried. One one land hand, new. No. Six land hand, new. No. Three land with no other colours, but we have two spells we can cast. I don't know. This this would be the perfect draw to drop a uh, Azorius skill kit. <laughs> I am a prophet. Oh, that's hilarious. That's brilliant. Uh, uh, that couldn't have worked out better. Now we actually stand a chance. Hey, it's a good playing rule. I mean, I don't, I don't know how this matchup's going to turn out. I, th I think it's in his favour. Depends how many thoppers we can get out. There's a second disperse. Drop a dragon fodder. I mean, they're they're eventually going to be good when he starts getting big guys out. But until then, I think we're not doing particularly well. Two visionaries. I mean, we could tr we could trade off. Obviously, this deck doesn't like trading off. But uh, f hopefully, hopefully, something good happens. <laughs> I don't know. I'd love to draw into some more creatures, but some I'd also like some more blue mana, blue and white. Well, yeah, blue mana. So I don't really know. He's sitting back. I'm gonna sit back as well then. Tobin Freeblood. We can cast. But I'd rather get the the three two in power and the evasion on the field. Tobin Freebird's going to be nice because I can trade off both his visionaries and uh, keep his board hopefully clear. And do we attack in here? He's just going to double block, but then we got kind of two cards for one. I know I just said I wanted to keep the creatures round, but it's kind of it's kind of a similar effect. We don't have any of our anthem effects at the minute, and uh, so it's kind of the same thing. Fiery impulse. At least it's not a twin bolt. Takes out the Thopter, so I guess he knows what he's... He's weak to flyers, but we don't have any more flyers in hand. There's a Pilgrimage. Well, at least that Impulse didn't hit the... Uh, Topian Freeblood, but I'm fully expecting either an Embermore Helion or a... What's that card called? Either an Embermore Helion or a... Uh, Outland Colossus next turn, but we do have a Disperse. So I mean, we could play Topian Freeblood, keep up Disperse, and then do that end step. Which might be an idea. To be honest, I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, we can't because we don't have double blue. I'm terrible. Uh, I mean, we'd, we only had one blue, white or blue source. So that's the worst play ever. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Still, it's one power difference. Assuming he doesn't have anything. There's a second Pilgrimage. This guy's rampant craziness. 
I think I will have to uh, to keep <laughs> wins. The wind's picked up again. Uh, I think I will have to uh, keep one of the disperses in case he's got Chandra's ignition. Uh, there's a dragon fodder. You know what? I'm gonna have to go close my window. We'll be back in a second. And we're back. Sorry to this guy who uh, <laughs> delayed for no reason. Uh, first things first, we're gonna attack him. We don't have any haste given. But uh, <laughs> it was actually getting hard to think. The rain was getting that loud. Uh, you can't do much about that. Okay, so we actually we're actually dealing a decent amount of damage. You could just guys revenge us next turn, but I think at this point we're all in for the for the aggro plan. <laughs> So this would have been a turn I could have played Dragon Fodder and played Disperse, but I'm terrible. Uh, he's on seven lands, so we're going to see the the guy's revenge. We are not going to see any reclamation search. That's that's annoying, I guess. He gets to kill two of our guys with it because he'll trade with a Gear Crafter. Acid Moss, this guy is scum. <laughs> What's your name? Just so I can report you as soon as this goes offline. <laughs> nah, I'm not that upset. I said with uh, tears streamed on my eyes. And look at that, we draw the card which would have really, really helped us a turn late. So this game's well and truly over now. I, I swear, you, last game you didn't see Acid Moss when I kept a 5 lander. The game before when I kept like a 4 lander and had like 16 different dual coloured lands, <laughs> all of which came untapped, you don't see Acid Moss. The minute you keep a hand, which is like debatable, this is when it all, it all goes wrong. Might as well cast a dragon fodder now because what we've this game's over unless this, if this guy has like a single threat this game is over and he is on he's to be fair to this guy oh there's the guy's revenge so I was gonna say he was flooding out but does he attack or does he sit back here because <laughs> I'd love it if he attacked he's actually on 10 lands in the top 21 cards so mind you he did play two Nissus pilgrimages Pilgrim Eye, I don't know what the word phrase is. Hey, look, another white spell which I could have cast. Uh, so we keep crunching in here. He t blocks three, he takes four, goes on to five. We don't have any real, but way, real way to burn him out. But I don't know, like a software engineer might get us there. I think I think at this point we're committed. We, we're not gonna. The longer this game goes, the more chance we've got of losing. So I mean, we've taken him down to five. If he doesn't play another creature, we can take him down to three. And then, and like, software engineer, hopefully, he can get us there. Another land. He's on 11 in the top 12, 20, 12 22. Can't claim yeah, this game's over. Uh, we might have stood a chance, actually, if we'd. If we'd, uh. You haven't blew up our dual good land. There's a fiery conclusion. If we can't target anything. Like. We're gonna get one point of damage through here. I think, if I've done my... But, but at the same time, I'm going to take out his Conclave Naturalist, but there's no other way to do this. So we got him down to four. <laughs> this is not looking particularly good. I would love this one of these spells to have you on the field, because then we might actually stand a chance. But you know, this guy got lucky with his acid moss hunting for the day. I'm looking forward to the other times when he was playing red deck wins. Opponents got a goblin glory chaser, majoring bully, and a thopter engineer in the field, and he's got an acid moss to do on turn four. I think I'm looking forward to them. It warms it warms my heart knowing that that's going to happen to him someday. Yeah, this game's over. He got us. I'm salty, I'm not even all <laughs> This was a completely winnable game until this guy looked out. Like, I don't know. It's it's gonna Acid Moss is gonna be a card that's gonna be a lot better in a battle for Zendikar, and I'll probably won't complain about it much then, just because you can search for any forest. I'll <laughs> screw this guy to all hell. But I'm not even I'm not even gonna look at that. The the board's not getting looked at until that thing's resolved. Anyway. So because you can look for any forest, so that means you can get the dual lands and I'm yeah, I'm just going to leave, there's no point. GG to this guy. And by GG, I mean rotten hell. <laughs> yeah, so, how many games we played? I think that's three. Uh, yeah, it is three, I believe. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to say this deck's terrible. 
I don't know, I'll, I'll go through it now, and by go through it, I'll scroll through it, I mean, just in case anyone was wondering and wanted to emulate that. We just never really got the, the combo going at any point. It's just, well, we drew one Valor that entire game, which was obviously not great when you've got these two cards here. That's basically what we build around. And then all the Thopter generators. Dragon Fodder, obviously. Fiery Conclusion, because it's our only way to kill big creatures, like against that Conclave Naturalist. And obviously we've got all the tokens, which we wouldn't mind losing. Early game is white. Don't this River Marshal. I like it in here, because it's generally going to be a 3-2. Even as a 2-1, it's not the worst thing. It's not like Nightfire Giant, which is useless as a 4-3 basically and uh well it's not useless it's just 2-1 for 2 isn't terrible but 4-3 for 5 is terrible and uh but yeah i mean the late game you can tap down any big blockers they've got so it's it's, it's all right to play on turn 2 and it's it's still not a bad top deck token free blade because it's just vigilance and if we're crunching in for like 6 with a vile necros at least we've still got some defense a couple disperses to mess around with them I rose champion actually had my favorite turn with this guy. Had a Valor and Akronos plus a Flame Shadow. <laughs> Dropped and this guy in the field. Uh, basically, I think this guy got like plus six, is it? Plus six, plus six. So he was an 8 8 double striker. Pawn jumped him down, but morally it was a good victory for me. And then uh, Thunderclap Wyvern. Used to be the Hill Giants. I keep calling them Hill Giants because they're 3 3 for 4. They're uh, the. What's it called? And Pure Tacticians. In the end of the day, this guy is less strain on the mana. His effect is permanent while he's here. You can flash him in. And uh, the double white was just killing us. It really was. And, and uh, but I mean, looking at the cards, which I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna spend time going through this deck because I, I like people's opinions on where I could do wrong. You could throw in some remo rules such as reprisal or as you don't want. Celestial flay. I mean, wing may you don't want. Kithian's tactics, the double white, just it sits in your hand a lot. Spell mastery is never going to go off, even though it's pretty irrelevant. But it just, I just felt when I was playing with it a lot of the time, it was just sitting there, and I've got like two dragon fodder tokens on the field. It would have helped me that second game. I just don't think the double white is worth running. And pure tactician, that's the thing I was telling you about. Yeah, again, just don't think it's really worth it. Be tempted to slam Hicks in though. He could do as well. And then apart from that, white. White's expended, blue, blue, blue is fairly self-explanatory, I guess you could run some more bounce, maybe some card draw, and the Thopter Spiner works, but like I said, I know we're in the World Rogue, so it seems kind of weird, but it's slow, it's kind of too situational for me, like Flame Shadow is good, even if you don't have Valor and Akros, but this thing is kind of just making a 1-1 one -one a turn, we don't run, we're not completely an artifact deck as well, so it's not 100% guaranteed. And it's just, uh, I feel, I don't want seven enchantments as well. I think five is enough, even though I didn't see them. Okay, and we're going to go over to red now. You know, screw it. There's faster ways to do this. Unfortunately, it takes you straight to the land. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, there's nothing really there you'd want. I guess you could you could throw in some Wavern. I'd like some, probably some Firecrafts I'd be tempted to throw in. Maybe, that, that would be something I might try out, just because it would be helpful as a finisher. What else have we got? That's about it, really. <laughs> so, and then uh, the dual code stuff, we've got everything pretty much. Because of Artifacts, is obviously not going in. And then our mana base is fairly weird at the minute. It's been doing alright this game, anyway, until we got Land Screw DS. That was due to double Acid Moss. But yeah, that's the deck, and uh, sorry if anyone was just sitting through that, but uh. Uh, I'll, I'll keep trying with this deck. I think it does have slight potential, and it is, it is fun, to say the least. Even though you didn't really see it this video, but... We didn't really get... We just didn't really draw into any of the spells. <laughs> I'll probably... This will be a deck I'll revisit if we don't get Zendikar soon, and try and get it off. But, uh, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll try and not die at this Thunderstorm, and I will see you later.